Hello YouTube and welcome to NGX on Gaming. Today I'm taking another look at Strife. I haven't actually tried this game for over a year and a half and the last time I tried it I actually kind of enjoyed it but there was something about it that I couldn't really get into. Now this has almost been completely finished. It's uh, in its final beta version now and it is a mobile very similar to LOL and Dota 2 but it has some really unique features about it and I'm gonna actually point out them to you and also play this game and show you what it plays like and what it looks like. Now, right off the bat, I actually really like it. I like the new changes. I like how it works. And the biggest change here from other MOBAs is, of course, this craft feature. This is what really makes it unique because every item in the game that you can basically buy uh, while you play the game, just like in LL and Dota, let me just move this a little bit so you can see it better. Every item in the game can essentially be changed. And I've already changed a few of them uh, and this is what they call crafting. So here you can actually craft the item, modifying its, uh, you know, its effects, its abilities, its talents, or I guess items don't have talents, but uh, you know what I mean, it changing its statistics. So for example, uh, what's the one I usually use? I forget what the name of this item, but let's just take a look at this arcane emblem. So click on it and you can pretty much change everything. You can actually give it um, a little bit more, let's just say you want to give it a little bit more health regeneration. So you put health regeneration and as you can see the price of the item has increased as well. Uh, then I want to give it maybe a little bit more attack speed. And then let's just give it some mana as well. Uh, so this will increase this item's attack or basically give it an effect of 15% attack speed, a little bit more health regeneration and it's also going to give me some mana. So now I can actually, uh, oh, okay, interesting. So it's, I added too much stuff, so I, you can't really see it, but on the bottom here it says, I added seven out of three effects. So this item cannot have so many effects. I need to actually release some of them. I can add this though. I can give it more health regeneration and then some mana regeneration. So now I can craft this and also give it an additional effect of, let's just say lifesteal. So now I can craft this and it's going to be a permanent effect that it will have on on it um, until I obviously change it. Now, here's the thing. You need to have these bottles which you acquire by playing the game or you can use premium currency to do this, to basically change the item. So crafting in this game is pretty awesome. It gives you something else to do. Uh, you can modify your character even further, uh, unlike LOL or Dota 2. Why essentially crafting it? You also get pets and pets are unlocked as you play the game and or you can also buy them with premium currency or with the in-game currency and every pet gives you those two skills that every MOBA has. So for example this guy right here that's the one I usually take he gives me rejuven rejuvenation or healing uh, every I think what is it 160 seconds and also blocks some damage uh, against me and finally increases my health a little bit. This guy Pincer which I also have, uh, removes stuns and slows and crowd control effects on me, also does a little bit of retaliation damage and increases my defense. So depending on what character you play as, you may want to take a different type of pet. So they're really cute, they're really awesome. So instead of just giving you two extra skills like other MOBAs, this game gives you a pet that gives you those two skills. So it's actually, I find this a very, very nice way of introducing this type of game mechanic. Uh, but essentially this is something that other mobiles already have, it just, it gives it kind of a face, very cute, very beautiful face that you can also change. Let's look at that cutie, cutie face. But you have to use, for this you have to use a premium currency. Uh, I only have four, four of those things and I, I think you get them by playing the game and waiting occasionally, but you can really get a lot of these diamonds just by playing. You do need to buy them using the real money. So what about the characters? So this game doesn't have as many, I think it's only about 32 or 33 right now, possibly 34. Um, but it does have really, really well-made, well-developed characters. I mean, not that, you know, LOL or Dota 2 doesn't, but, you know, LOL and Dota 2, a lot of characters do start to get really repetitive. Now here, you don't have to buy the, um, I'm gonna play against bots for now. You don't have to buy the characters, they're already all unlocked for you, just like in Dota 2, but, and they do feel very different. They're very, very, very awesome. They play really well. They're actually, I'm gonna try to move my window a little bit so you can see them here we go all right so they're right there on the bottom uh, so there's a very wide selection they're real cartoony looking but they're so cute so awesome uh, this is the character you start as when doing the tutorial and there's actually a mandatory tutorial that teaches you everything but it does it really really well and gives you a bit of a storyline to this game as well and gives it a little bit more character actually because games like Dota 2 lol 
they lack that. Uh, I mean, they do have some storyline, but this game really takes it to a new level with a very kind of a specific universe. So I'm going to play as Jing Shi, uh, and this is a pretty awesome um, damage DPS character. And I'm going to take Tortoise just because I need some healing. So let's get ready, and this will match us up with other people, and we'll start our first battle. So she will be fighting against the bots for now. Uh, I usually play against other people, but when I'm recording, because I, I do like to talk a lot, it's a, a little bit difficult to concentrate and to essentially win if you're trying to record, talk, and battle people. Uh, so there's a variety of characters here, obviously different types of roles that they fit, but they all play very differently. They're all very, very unique, and they all have very unique special abilities. Um, so this is the one I kind of fell in love with. She's very, uh, very powerful, actually, if you know how to play her well. So this is the matchup right here. There's actually the same character as mine on the other team. And this right here gives you the idea of what the game is like in terms of being unique. So there's uh, out of combat regeneration, which re regenerates your health and mana really quickly if you don't fight. Uh, there's someone called Kratos and Sindara, and those are special sort of units that are crazy powerful. They can really change the battle uh, for the entire team really quickly. Okay, yeah, what are you? I'm, I'm going to take. Your next trial is upon you. I'm going to take this, I think. Uh, and um, you can also split gold when Swift. when you are when you're essentially uh, killing an enemy opponent. You can split gold with the teammate if you have. If you both do quite a lot of damage, so it's not just the last skill, but it's actually split it split between people. And uh, there's some. Uh, oh, and the, the other thing is that there's a courier in this game which delivers your items. You don't have to return to the Nexus every time your items are actually brought to you by a courier. Uh, just like in Dota 2, in a sense. This is something they took from Dota 2, I guess. Or maybe they actually invented it and Dota 2 took it from them. So, anyway, let's buy an item. So, there's an item here that I did modify. I forgot what it was, though. It's been a while since I played as this character, so I don't remember what I actually did. But I'm gonna go for. F it is time to prove your medal of war. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go for attack damage, I guess, with this character. And also, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for life steal. That's that's kind. Of, that's how I like it usually. Let's go for it. Life steal. So, aim for something that is here. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the actual item that I modified, Z Zealot Blade of Vampirism. So I'm going to buy something toward it. So let's actually get this, get more health regeneration going, and start moving this way. What's my first skill? My first skill is a uh, stun with some damage. And this is what we're going to start doing. We're going to start stunning people. So this character, once she gets to a higher level, becomes really powerful. She is ridiculously powerful. Level up and start getting uh, our skills up. So I'm going to play really carefully for now, even though I am DPS. Unless, unless something happens and I can actually start attacking uh, non-stop. Now, the interesting thing about this game is actually... The team dynamics here are very different from both LOL and Dota 2 because there are team targets just like in games like Heroes of the Storm. Uh, there are targets here that can actually change the entire game dramatically. Um, and one of those targets I'm going to show you in a second. It, they're all in the jungle and all of them... Oh crap. And yeah, towers are a lot more powerful here too. I'm going to heal up using my tortoise. Um, and so yeah, in the jungle there's a lot of targets, and you can see, if you look at this map here, you can see that the um, there's these colorful or color-based uh, circles, and these are basically difficulty of the jungle enemy. So the green ones you can usually solo and get additional gold and additional... Uh, uh, oh crap, nope, don't touch me. Additional gold and also additional experience just by jungling. And... Um, the orange ones are a little bit more difficult, you can only do it on higher level or with the team. And then there is red ones, and there's actually this orange one, this is one of the team targets. Yellow ones are a little bit harder. And uh, and the red one, that's the that's basically the boss. So, or if you, if you play Heroes of the Storm, you know what this means. Basically, the, the, the character that can change the tide of battle for good. Even if you're losing, you will be winning after this. Um, 
get let's get this going this is a skill i usually use a lot and so i'm gonna show you what this particular character looks like later in the game when we're gonna try to take it you cannot take it alone you usually need to have a team of people with you because they are very 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 tough uh, and one of them is called Sindara, and one of them is called Kratos. Kratos is a gorilla that basically storms uh, one of the lanes and destroys all the towers and everyone in its way. And the other guy, what it does, it's, it's like, uh, if you kill him enough times, it's, he summons these really strange ghost-like beings that essentially har harass people. Uh, quite a lot, actually. They're quite harassy. If that's the word. So okay, well, this is this is kind of the boring part. So I'm actually gonna skip this uh, until I get to a higher level, just to show you what this game feels like later on in, in higher levels. Right now we're just kind of trying to level up here and get some gold going, just like another LOL, uh, sorry, mobile games like LOL and Dota 2. Oh crap! Without trying, without basically dying, trying to survive without dying. And so right now I actually. Um, I'm not fighting anyone just so I can restore my mana and you can see this is one of the special features of this game is that it I'm now uh, Respawning or healing myself and basically restoring my mana really really quickly as long as I'm not fighting anyone So if I stay in the shadows here in the grass uh, in the bush Basically, I can I can actually restore everything without returning back to Nexus Which is I think it's actually a good addition because running back to Nexus all the time is a little bit annoying um, and the game is recommended that I purchase something. I don't really have any money though, so I'm not gonna buy anything yet. But what I'm gonna do is... I can't use that either. Wow. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get her. Let's get her. Let's get her. No! You must let that fire develop. Oh, so close. You must let that fire develop. Okay, time to run away. I'm feeling cold. But of course this game is not perfect and one of the really main imperfections in here, and this is something that really bugs me, look at the list of players right now. Two against five. And this is of course bots, but that's because three players just decided to leave. There is, there is of course penalty for leaving the game, but unfortunately this... Uh, instead of introducing something like bot system where you can all uh, where the player who left the game will become a bot and will help you still this game just decided to or I mean the developers of this game decided to completely remove those players from the game essentially we're now screwed because there's two of us five of them and we've already lost quite a lot of towers uh, and so I personally think this is actually one of the main disadvantages here why I will probably not be playing this for a long time because, um, you know, this is just ridiculous. Um, other than that, the game is actually really good, but if you have a bunch of people that decide to leave your team, you're really screwed. There's no way you can win four against five, uh, even if it's really, really good four players against really, really bad five players. Uh, this guy is actually asking me why there's only two of us still left. Uh, this is really my main main grip or grip with this game because we're just um, we are essentially screwed now. The only way we can win is, of course, if we take one of these uh, uh, one of the bosses to take a boss later. If so, if we are if we can actually take the gorilla dude that will help us destroy the towers. Um, we could possibly win this still, and we have won this uh, before in the same way against bots, where basically you can, as long as you take the gorilla, um, you can you can push the lane and destroy everyone on the way. And now I'm all alone. Actually, this guy's still here, but he just died. But yeah, this is this is such a big concern for me. I mean, devs really need to introduce the bot system, just like in Heart, uh, Heroes of the Storm. If someone disconnects. The player becomes a bot and still kind of helps you a little bit, even though they're not particularly useful, but they can still kind of help you. Because right now this is kind of kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Oh, okay, see, that, there you go. Three against one. How is that even fair? Even though I kind of managed to damage him quite a bit. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is going to be interesting. So let's get another item. I'm gonna start going for full attack, see if I can actually... Uh, get enough gold to buy some of these items. 
But in terms of everything else, this game is actually pretty awesome. Right? I mean, it's really well balanced. The characters are fun to play. Uh, the towers do quite a lot of damage, which is you know good. And most importantly, it's there is so much stuff you can do uh, if you just don't like to push lanes. You can actually play in other ways by you know becoming a jungler and a very effective jungler at that. Freeze and come back here. That ability is on oh crap, I need to run away. I'm gonna go heal up and yeah, uh, the heal, the fact that you can actually heal uh, by, you know, not attacking anyone, just waiting here. And, uh, you know, the fact that you can actually change the entire tide of battle by defeating one of the bosses. Specifically, I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, you see the gorilla in there? That's the guy we need to take, try to take later on. Uh, right now we can't really do it yet, we're yes. still, our level is way too low to even tr attempt to do it. Uh, so instead we're gonna, tr I'm gonna try to essentially get to higher level. Understood. And then die, just like that. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be interesting. But let's actually talk about the good things. Let's actually ignore the fact that there's only two of us against five and talk about the cool stuff. For example, one of the best parts about this game are the awesome looking graphic. I, I, I'm, I'm in love with the graphics here. Look at how awesome they are. Uh, it's And I'm playing at 60 frames per second, well, close to 40 frames per second right now. But usually it's at 60 frames per, per second, even when I'm recording. Uh, 1080p as well, and uh, it just looks gorgeous. It's an amazing looking game. Uh, the characters are very well detailed, and uh, there's a lot of really, really good looking graphics. And oh, I need to run away now. Heal up a little bit. These guys are gonna take our tower, aren't they? Pretty much. Probably. They're probably gonna take our tower. Uh, yep. Get away. Get away from me. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up and just protect our tower for now and basically get as many items as I can just so I can become I'm more powerful. But uh, yeah, graphically this game is awesome. I'm gonna go in the jungle for a second just to show you the other targets. Look, and look at the atmosphere. Even the sound effects changed. Yes. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do here in the jungle. I can actually try to kill these guys just to get some extra experience, extra um, money as well. And... One of the targets is actually right here. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. The fire rages inside. This is one of the targets. So this is a mini boss, and his name is I forgot. Uh, what's Your his? If you have to kill him three times. If you kill him three times, you. Oh wow, that was fast. If you can actually kill this guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, you will then get additional um, additional support on every lane. Every lane will get these additional mobs that will help you and they'll spawn at uh, enemy targets at all times and basically... Oh boy. And uh, they'll basically attack everyone who's trying to uh, attack you or just randomly spawn at, at uh, enemy targets. Um, if you kill this other guy who's right here, it's actually... Oh, okay, you can't really see him right now, but if you defeat this guy, um, he will push the lane for you and will do some crazy, crazy, uh, crazy, crazy damage. Oh, and guess what? Swift. The enemy was first. They actually have a Sindara guy coming our way. I need to go and kill him. Uh, I'm gonna go try to protect the tower because this guy, he can do some crazy damage to our towers. He is very, very powerful and they were very smart at trying to defeat him. Uh, so there we go and they're actually pushing with him too oh, okay that is not cool I need to heal I need to get away from here uh, that is horrible okay well I think now we're screwed but you can see the the positives and the negatives here the positives are that it's actually a really fun game to play it's a very very fun MOBA it's, uh, you know, there's some really good characters, there's some really good design um, ideas. Uh, there's uh, it's a little bit of from every successful mobile. There's a little bit from Dota 2, like for example, the, the delivery guy that brings you items. There's um, the a little bit from Heroes of the Storm, that these, these targets that you can take to improve your 
uh, success in winning the game. Like, for example, this guy is right now is gonna really screw us over. But of course, there's also some negatives. And the biggest one, that, like I mentioned before, is the fact that you can leave the game without really any concern. You get a penalty, but it's not enough to... Uh, oh, crap. The penalty is not enough to make people leave. I think we're screwed. Uh, the items in this game are absolutely amazing. The fact that you can actually modify them and the fact that you can... Uh, oh, crap. Really? The fact that you can not only modify them, but, uh, you know, make them to your taste. So if you want to create a very specific unique character, if you want to create a character that really, really works for you, um, you can essentially uh, do that. You can go into the craft system and craft an item that you really, really want. And this is, this is what really makes this game stand out. So in that, in that sense, Strife is actually amazing. If you're playing with a big team that is very committed, if you have five or, sorry, four friends that you can play with, uh, that will not quit on you, this game is absolutely brilliant. It's actually, I find it a little bit more fun than uh, both LOL and Dota 2. The players in this game are a lot more friendly as well. Uh, I have not experienced any sort of, you know, poison and griefing in that sense. Uh, but, of course, there are some negatives. Like, pl players do leave. You'll see this a lot. I've seen this in many games where players would just leave, especially if something doesn't work for them. Um... But, unfortunately, that is not enough uh, for me to continuously play this game non-stop. Uh, I would not actually... Um, I would not really play a game that has this type of uh, um, environment, because that's just, to me, that's, you know, that's, that's a pr huge problem. The problem is that uh, you're going to get annoyed a lot. When people leave on you all the time, when you have two people left, and you're essentially just slaughtered by the other team, that's just not cool. So in that sense, Strife is still a work in progress. It still needs to have this magical thing that is called bots. I mean, why is it, would it be so hard for the devs to implement the bot system? Uh, it works so well in Heroes of the Storm. If someone disconnects for a few seconds, the bots take over. And usually it's the elite bots, which kind of play okay-ish. Right now, these guys are just standing here. I don't even know why they're standing. What are they doing? Your top generator is taking damage. Yeah, so if they destroy our generators, uh, they will get these additional items, just like an LOL. Uh, not items, sorry, additional units that do a little bit more damage, CG damage especially. Spark the and they are annoying. And we are pretty much screwed here. So I'm going to go ahead and Got it. try to collect some gold, actually. I do have more damage now, so I'm just gonna start collecting gold. Try to get more experience, more gold going, so I can actually level up and become more powerful. Maybe I'll be able to defeat them all by myself. Usually, Jinche, when you get her to like level 15, 16, she can do some crazy, crazy damage. She's actually very, very su successful as a character. And what I decided to do is actually just go ahead and start leveling up. Because there's no way for us to win this battle unless I become more powerful. Because I can actually carry uh, quite well, especially if I level up. Oh, okay, here comes the, another enemy target. Uh, get away from me, jerk! Okay, crap. Crap, 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 run away. Uh, but yeah, you, I can easily uh, win the entire battle if I become more powerful as this character. Which is why I, li I like Jinhei so much. Because she is, she does get really powerful with time. Now, what's interesting is that I think this game actually does change the AI behavior if you're, if you have this situation that we have right now. All of their units are just kind of standing there. All of their heroes, uh, which is interesting because I didn't expect that. Baldir has been defeated. But that's the other guy. So if you defeat the Baldir, which was what my uh, other companion here did. Um, if you do it three times, he will actually summon these special units that will attack every lane. I'm gonna try to take the gorilla uh, and tell him to come and join me. So we're gonna try to take gorilla and push the lane. And this is actually my delivery guy right here. Little squirrel dude. It's pretty cute. He's just Swiftly. walking back toward his area there where he came from. Uh, he delivered an item, item for me that I ordered from the shop and he is absolutely awesome. Okay, so I need to stay away from these guys. 
I need uh, 500 more, 400 more gold to purchase my next item that will give me some crazy, crazy damage. After this, we'll be able to defeat anybody. Let's actually take some of the jungle camps here. Uh, I think there's one right here. Nope, there's one right here. Oh, yes. alright, so we're gonna try to take the gorilla, and I'm gonna start attacking. And I think we'll be able to win this if all goes well. It might go bad though. So uh, if we defeat the Sindara here, the fire person, we'll release the gorilla and then be able to um, push their lane. I'm gonna push the top lane. And yes, excellent. So change the lane to top. So maybe if all goes well, we'll be able to actually destroy their uh, their nexus. And so what we've decided to do, just two of us, is push the one of the lanes where we had the least towers and help the gorilla guy uh, to try to get to the generator and essentially defeat them this way. I have my uh, level 14 just now. And if all goes well, we'll be able to possibly win this. That would be absolutely amazing. And we'll give this game an extra star, extra praise, because you can actually win if you have two competent players. Your spirit of a hostile. If you don't know how to do, get the delivery thing going, press G and this will actually call your courier to help you. Switch. Okay, let's see if we can kill him. I'm gonna kill this guy first. And there we go, we actually won. I think we won. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe we won. But anyway, so I'm gonna command this guy. What is he? Fat Leopard. Command this guy. Report this guy for leaving. So you can do that, obviously. Just report him for intentionally ruining the game. Report this guy. Intentionally ruined the game and report this guy as well. And once the battle is finished, you return back to the menu here and you can see this your progress, you can see the score reports and things of that nature. So I need to play a few more games to get some additional bonuses and unlock new characters. I got one extra gem, so this is the premium currency. And I also got uh, a little bit more non-premium currency as well. And I get a new pad at level 6, so once I reach level 6 right here, Currently I'm level 5, if I reach level 6, I get Mystique. A new pet that... What, is, what does he do? Oh, never mind, I already have him. Ooh. Uh, activate Regenerate Mana. So this is more for wizard characters. So all your pets uh, basically determine um, what kind of bonuses you get, what kind of skills you get, and uh, or what kind of additional skills you get. So this is dependent on, on the character you play as. And I need to play a few more games before I can use my craft again, because I need 280 more crafting units to craft another item because I already spent some units on crafting this one item. Anyway, so this is Strife in a Natural. So just to summarize some positives, great graphics, really good atmosphere, 30-something um, characters to choose from, really, really unique characters as well, very cool skills. Uh, you have pets as well on top of that, so there's a bunch of pets you can choose for each of your characters. Has a really good... Uh, good bonuses from other um, MOBAs like LOL and Dota 2. So you do have things like Delivery Guy, you can um, respond your health and mana if you're not fighting anyone. And uh, you obviously have a really, really kind of a good, well-balanced game. So the, really the only negative I have about this game is that you can actually quit the game and ruin it for everyone if you don't return because it doesn't have the automatic bot um, addition to the game if you're playing with other players. So all in all, definitely a good title, still in beta though, so waiting for this to come out officially. But you can play this for free on Steam, and this is what I'm doing right now, this is actually a Steam version of the game. So once it came out on Steam, I really wanted to try it again, see if how it changed, because I played this a year and a half ago and it was a little bit different. But I'm still liking this, this is actually one of my favorite mobiles, so do give this a try. I'm posting the link for this in the description below. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and game you later guys, bye bye.